We're seeing a growing trend where tow vehicles and their trailers are being inadequately maintained or they're being used beyond their capacities. Uh, we recommend that you have a safety checklist that is completed before departing on any voyage. We're going to start our safety checklist with our tow vehicle itself. Uh, you want to start at the front and work your way to the back. Uh, you start with your lights, uh, which will be your low beam and your high beam. Uh, then you want to work with your signal lights, make sure they're working both on left and right. You also want to make sure that your uh, windshield wipers are working and that you have adequate washer fluid. Then you're going to work your way back and you're going to look at the tires, which are one of the most important components. Okay, so you want to check your wheel fasteners, your lug nuts, make sure that they're all there, as well as they're torqued within the manufacturer specifications. You also want to check the tire pressure. Uh, it's stamped on the uh, tire itself. It's also on the door jam of the driver's side door or in the vehicle manual. Uh, make sure it's within manufacturer specs there. And then you also work up to your tires at the top and make sure that they have adequate tread. So moving to the back of the vehicle, you want to make sure that your lights are working as, at the rear as well as the front. So you're going to want to have your running lights on, and then you're going to want to be, test your brake lights, as well as your signals. Once we've completed with the tow vehicle, we want to work our way back to where the trailer is going to connect with the tow vehicle. First we want to look at the hitch. We want to make sure that it is rated for whatever trailer you're towing and its contents. Uh, sometimes it is stamped on the receiver itself, but if you can't find that information, you need to refer to the manu manufacturer's specifications. Then we want to look to the receiver and the ball. Once again, it needs to be within the manufacturer's specifications that it's adequate for the trailer and its contents. Uh, with that, you want to make sure that there's no defects in the receiver and that the ball is nice and round. There's nothing, no deformities that would show that it was going to fail. Once you've done that, you want to uh, go to the coupler. The coupler should be in good working order. Once again, no cracks or breaks or deformities and that it has a proper locking mechanism. Some are different uh, depending on the manufacturer. Some will be a pin or a locking mechanism inside the coupler itself. Uh, you also want to work towards your safety chains that uh, will hold the tow vehicle uh, if it was to depart from the vehicle. Uh, you want to make sure that they are uh, in good working order, that there is no deformities on them, uh, that they're not worn down or ground, and that they're not dragging on uh, the pavement uh, when you're traveling. We recommend that they're in a crisscross pattern so that they act as a sling if it was ever to fall forward uh, departing from the tow vehicle. You also have uh, the breakaway cable if the trailer is equipped with brakes. Uh, the breakaway cable activates uh, if it was ever to depart from the tow vehicle, uh, making sure that the trailer wouldn't continue down the road. So once you've examined all the attachment points with the trailer, uh, you want to make sure that your power or is connected properly to the, the vehicle. Uh, make sure that it's locked in, that it can't come out or jiggle, uh, causing the wiring to uh, short in any sort of way. So once we've finished with the attachments of the tow vehicle to the trailer, we want to start doing a walk around of the trailer. Start with the tires. Make sure it's the same as the tow vehicle. All the fasteners are on there and that they're adequately torqued to the manufacturer's specifications. You also want to make sure that the tire pressures are within the specs on the sidewall of the tire and that you have adequate tread depth. When we come to the rear of the trailer, we also want to check the lights just the same as that we did with the tow vehicle. So that includes that the running lights are on, your brake lights, as well as your signal lights. So once you've done your checks on the outside of the trailer, you want to work on the inside. You want to look at your load and make sure that it is uh, centered from front to back and left to right, and that it's not uneven at all with the weight distribution. Uh, in emergency situations, it can cause the trailer to be kind of uncontrolled if the, the weight is uh, unevenly balanced throughout the trailer. You also want to check that you have adequate straps and that there's no rips or tears on the straps and that they are capable of withholding the weight that you're towing. Uh, once your load is secure on the trailer, you want to make sure that the trailer and the tow vehicle are as level as possible. If they're not, it could be that the load isn't uh, adequately distributed, uh, causing it to sag in the front, or your tow vehicle might not be adequate for what you're towing.
So this is an example of a hitch that broke off while in use. It was obviously of insufficient strength for the trailer that it was towing. Once the truck and trailer are all hooked up adequately, you want to test your brakeway system as well as your brake controller, making sure that the brakes work. Remember to unplug your electrical connector from your vehicle before testing the brakeway cable. With the brakeway system, you're going to want to pull the plunger out, which will simulate that the trailer is detaching from the tow vehicle. In order to do this, I recommend putting gloves on because sometimes the cable can be sharp and you give it a good tug and the plunger will come out of the brakeway. Once the plunger is pulled out, you want to get into your tow vehicle and put it into gear and the brake should activate holding the trailer as well as the tow vehicle in place. Lastly, you want to test your brake controller. Uh, in each vehicle, they're going to be located in different locations. On this vehicle, it's located at the dash here. In order to test it, you want to squeeze the controller when the vehicle is in gear and make sure that it will hold the trailer and the tow vehicle from moving. In order to do that, you just squeeze it. Uh, once you've completed your safety checklist and everything is in good working order, you're good to head out on the road. Stay safe out there.